Hi, my name is Robert, and I'm going to be introducing you to some ideas of how to improve your athletic performance uh, from a very radical perspective. And to start with, besides the equilateral pyramid video that is in my channel, I'm going to be introducing you to the idea called the three-dimensional athlete. And when I measure an athlete in a laboratory, with all, without all the fancy light bulbs that are placed on them, I'm looking at three measurements, straight forward and straight back, which is the x-axis represented by the masking tape that you can see in front of me, the y-axis, which is the perpendicular line from the center line of that tape up the center line of my body, uh, which is the, the vertical axis, if you will, tape representing the horizontal axis, and there's also a z-axis, which is the area of measurement to the left and to the right of the center line of the tape. That's the three-dimensional athlete. So in measuring runners or players of multitudes of sports, when I watch them move, that's my question. I don't care how fast you run. I want to know how much energy do you waste to run that fast. Because the realities are simple. If I can pinpoint and define where you waste your energy, I can teach you how to decrease that energy waste. And with the, the saved energy, you can do one of two things, either run faster or run further. So the question becomes, what mathematical formula defines the perfect runner? And you know what? In terms of sp in the world of coaching, there isn't a running coach, there isn't a personal trainer, no one in the field of sports medicine can define that for you. Everything about running is strictly that. It's an opinion. And unless you have math, you have nothing but an opinion. And I say that sarcastically because it's very, very true. So I'm, what you're going to learn from me is all about measurement. And once you can understand the three-dimensional axis of the X, Y, and Z perspective, we'll be able to proceed further, and this will make a little bit more sense to you. So on that note, you can Google X, Y, and Z axis and give yourself a better definition of what I'm talking about if you like. Otherwise, I'll stop here and I'll go from here to the next segment of this lesson.